Should it be performed uh, without perfume and items without alcohol when a person is in haram? So the person's asking, when they're in haram, yeah. should they be uh, using perfumes or items without alcohol? Yeah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. In the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when a person, um, he died, he was on his, account, on his camel, and then uh, the camel uh, did something, so the man fell down, and then he, um, the man died. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he was in a state of ihram. So yes. the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed the companions, and he said to them, yeah, uh, wash him, shroud him, but, okay, leave him in his ihram. Okay. Yeah, leave him in his ihram uh, and don't let his body touch perfume. Yeah, okay. And there is one narration don't cover uh, and don't cover his face, and there is another narration and don't cover his face as well. Okay, don't cover his head, and there is one narration don't cover his uh, face, but don't let don't apply perfume, okay, on his body or in his shroud, yeah? Normally, it is the sunnah to yes. apply perfume, okay, for the deceased when shrouding him, when washing him, shrouding him, yeah? However, uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, so don't do that. Now, the scholars took from this and from other evidence, uh, such as, that the muhrim should not apply perfume on himself, uh, neither on his body, okay, nor on his clothes. Obviously, for ladies, they should not do that, okay, when they are outside their yes. homes anyway, whether they are in a state of ihram or whether they are not in a state of ihram. Even if they are at home, they cannot apply perfume if they are in a state of ihram. Now, this is the general principle, my dear brothers and sisters. However, I don't want our brothers and sisters to be over cautious about this. Yeah? And let me take this opportunity by saying that, my dear brothers and sisters, now you are about to perform the fifth pillar of Al Islam. Yeah? As we all know, the Prophet ﷺ said Islam is built on five pillars, and the fifth one is Al Hajj. You are not about to do any kind of activity. Yeah? You are about to do an action that is considered to be the third best of actions. The Prophet ﷺ once said, uh, once asked, what is the best of deeds? So the Prophet ﷺ said, Imanun Billah. Then what? Then Jihadun Fi Sabilillah. Then he was asked, and then what? So the Prophet ﷺ said, Hajjun Mabrur. You are about to do an action that if you do it according to the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, without being involved deliberately in major sins okay or deliberately in uh, deliberately in major sins or committing many uh, minor sins frequently and in insisting on them you will have all your previous sins wiped out the prophet ﷺ said al hajjul mabrur laysa lahu jazaun illa al jannah now that should be the focus okay not and you should ask how do you how should we perform uh, this Mabrur Hajj, how do we achieve most of our Hajj? Not to be worried or over worried about whether if I touch something with scent or with little perfume or with some maybe smell due to the chemical ingredients, will that break my Hajj or not? Okay, what kind of uh, soap should I use? What kind of, you know? The, if you are not using perfume, yeah, yes, and you are not intending to use perfumed soap, everything has a smell, mm. yeah. Don't be over cautious about this, Ma please, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Yeah, normally people jump into these questions. Last year or the year before, I had a, a situation of a sister. She, yeah. She was not with uh, our group. I was giving a lecture in another group, so she came. This sister, she, uh, th this was in Medina, yeah? Since she left, okay, yeah. she was worried about uh, detecting or putting perfume, mm. yeah? So to the level that 
in Medina, she was not in a state of ihram. In Medina, yeah, yeah, Medina Munawara, so still no. we have not stopped the state of ihram. So. She was avoiding walking to towards the, the, the hotel from certain way because it has number of perfume shops and bakhur, you know, so, yes. in Medina, they put the bakhur so that everyone detects that. Yeah. I said, why, sister? She said, because I don't want to break my ihram. I said, my dear sister, do you think that if you detect perfume or even if you put deliberately perfume, that will nullify your hajj, that will break your ihram? No. Let us not be over cautious about these things. Yeah, you have not yet even entered the state of ihram. So take it easy, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Don't apply perfume. Don't intend to use perfumed material, okay? However, you came the soap, you used the soap, you cleaned your hands after that, you did not intend that, it was not clear, fragrant soap. That just let it go, okay? That is the general principle. People are asking, you know, toothpaste. Yes. It has uh, a taste a or, taste a, or smell. a smell. Yeah, shall we use it or not use it? Yeah, Habibi, okay, make it easy. Use, okay, something that does not have that. However, you used it by mistake or you did not intend it, you did not put attention to it, or khalas, use it. You are going to clean your mouth anyway. Yeah.